At this point with our rockets, we're ready to launch them. One of the first things we're going to need to do before we launch our rocket is we need to install what is called recovery wadding into the fuselage or the tube of the rocket. That will protect the parachute from burning or melting when the ejector tar charge from the rocket motor itself pops out the parachute. The way we do this is first of all we're going to give ourselves another test of our parachute. We're going to blow as hard as we can into the end of the rocket and this parachute and nose cone should pop out. Again, it's a test. We need to have that out anyhow. So, blow as hard as you can in there. <sniffs> Pops out. That's what you need. If it doesn't work that way, you're going to have to practice a couple times make sure the parachute comes out. So, the size of this rocket tube, di tube diameter requires us to use about three sheets of this recovery wadding. You could also use a fabric dryer sheet. It does work. Maybe not as good, but this comes with your rocket motors, so use it. Why not? Make sure that the elastic band holding your parachute is hanging from the bottom side of the tube. It won't get snagged up. Take this, loosely wad it up. That one felt a little loose. Just give it a little crinkle, stuff it in there. As far as you can get it, okay, a little bit more of a crinkle, as far as you can get it. Once again, we're going to take our parachute and squeeze all the air out of it. Fold it over once fold it over twice. Now we've got a nice little ball of plastic. Again, take the rocket tube, get the rubber band at the bottom. Take this, stuff it in. As far as you can get it. Ooh, that felt tight. I'm going to try that. Oh, it did work. Good. Alright. I just didn't like the way it felt. So once again, I'm going to pack my parachute. So we're just going to repack our parachute once again. We're going to take our recovery watering. Again, don't crump it up too tight. String at the bottom. Just slide it back in the tube. This only takes a second to do. Three nice pieces loosely stuffed in. And repack our parachute again. Again, take it, squeeze all the air out of it. Fold it once. Fold it twice. Slide it in, put a rubber band at the bottom. Slide it back in. And the nose comb back in. There we go. That end's good to go. The next thing we need to do, we need to install our rocket motor. Our rocket motors we're using on this particular rocket comes from Quest, but there are many other companies that make rocket motors, so it just depends where you're buying it. It's important when you buy your rocket motors also, they come with this lovely little sheet. They call them instructions. Make sure you read the instructions all the way both sides of it. It gives you all sorts of cool information about your rocket. Okay, Safety, estimated launch, and how to properly mount your igniters into the bottom of the rocket tube. Sorry, into the bottom of the rocket motor. Make sure you read the instructions. It looks like a lot, but there isn't. Okay, On this particular rocket motor, we have these igniters here. They almost look like matchsticks. When we put the igniter in the bottom of the rocket motor, we need to put this plastic cap on there to hold it in. Okay. Here's our new rocket motor. You can see it has a clay cap inside of there. Read your instructions. That tells you what that's all about. The other end has the nozzle. That's where our thrust charge comes out of. Okay. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to remove carefully one of these igniters from the package. Something That came out easy. Sometimes they're a little sticky. Again, some different motors have different igniters. So spread the wires out a little bit, nice and gently. We're going to take the end of it that looks like the matchstick, and we're going to gently place it into the nozzle end. Okay, it'll stay there. We're going to take this plastic little cap here. Okay, not much to it. And all we need to do is just force it into the hole. There we go. That'll hold that igniter in. Perfect. Okay, make sure those wires are spread apart a little bit. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the rocket motor and we're going to slide it into the bottom of our rocket tube. Okay? It's very obvious which end is going to go in the rocket tube. The wires have to stay out, so this end here is going to go in. Just simply slide it in. That's about as much as you're going to have hanging out. All right? We're going to hold the rocket motor in with some handy-dandy masking tape. So just peel off a little bit. It's sort of longer than your finger would be. Let's say I'm guessing about that long for myself. We'll take the rocket, put the tape on it, try and keep the edge of the tape even with the end of the tube. 
of the rocket motor, sorry. You wrap it around, all the way around, try and get a good contact with that rocket motor. You don't want it popping out. Okay, and then just wrap the tape up nice and tight with your fingers. And there we go. We are ready to go. This thing is going to fly. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves set up on our rocket launcher and we'll launch this into the sky. Hopefully we get a good 750, maybe a thousand feet out of this.